Outdoors Del Marva covers everything outdoors, including real hunting and fishing situations involving wildlife. Now, we do our best each week to bring you tasteful content, but viewer discretion is advised. Now, enjoy the show. This is Outdoors Del Marva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. And now, here are Jason Lee and Lauren Hitch. We're celebrating Scorchy Tall's 103rd birthday. Yeah, and one thing that Scorchy always liked to do was go fishing, and I'm sure that you have a fish tail or two. As a matter of fact, <laughs> even, um, rock fishing in the wintertime uh, out in the uh, Chesapeake Bay and it was as cold as one might expect. Um, and it was terrible. It was a horrible experience. And when it was all over with and they actually were headed back in, I went over in a corner and pulled my coat up like this, you know, and I was just kind of just survived the rest of the experience. And Scorchy sat down and he said, you want me to tell you a story? And I said, yes, please. And he started making up this story. I can't remember what it was, but it had to do with me and my first dog, which he didn't know anything about. He just made it up. <laughs> I think he learned from that that I probably wasn't the best guy to bring on those uh, boating expeditions, you know. Well, here's one of the times that Scorchy did go fishing, and uh, looks like he's looking for some crappie. What kind of fish you got in here? Bass and crappie and some big bluegills. Huh? Mac, if there's any fish in here, they ought to be pretty hungry now if they've been here all winter. Uh, you been feeding them? No. I haven't been feeding them. I haven't been catching them. You got some nice minnows? I hope so. Where'd they come from? Uh, they didn't come from Seahawk, did they? Could be. Rodney? Yeah, I think so. Well, I hope Rodney will give us some good minnows. I hope so, too. You realize this is the January the 16th. A month ago, we were covered up in snow. It was three degrees, too. <laughs> and here we are, 60 degrees. This will make any fisherman worth his salt go fishing, won't it? Yeah. We were fishing, but we weren't catching. And photographer Steve Boyd, a country boy from the boondocks of Harrisonsburg, Virginia, kept wondering out loud what kind of fishermen we were. So I took the camera, handed him my spinning rod and reel, which he promptly backlashed. Then he caught a big branch, which spit the lure right back at him. I guarantee you one thing, this country boy will improve. You gotta make a move, right? We'll go down this other pond. Catch a big one. Catch a big one down here, hopefully. Mac oversees three ponds. He doesn't allow fishing in them anymore except for friends. He used to, but the litter slobs forced him to shut them down. Anyhow, we settled in at the other pond and Mac started bestowing good wishes on me. I like to see you catch a crappie like the one I caught here a couple years ago. How big was it? Well, he weighed about three and a half pounds and a good 18 19 inches long and just about that thick. Mac, has the sun got to you right here in the middle of January? No, but that crabby did. Mac's wish worked in a hurry. Oh, that's a bass. A bass. There he goes. Oh, He's going. You're I, couldn't, have him on his belt. I couldn't hold him. I had switched to a spinner bait. It was readily apparent the fish weren't interested in minnows today. I had several more nice strikes than a real hungry bass nail me. No, there were no fishing rainbows with hordes of fish at the end for us today. But what the heck? A 60 degree day in mid-January topped off by two bass? If that ain't a bonus, I've never heard of one. And there's still 11 and a half months left to fish this year. Outdoors Delmarva will be right back 